everyone. This is David Sark from WatcherPass.com, your website for movie reviews, interviews, and recommendations. Today, I'm joined by Natalie Eva Marie, who plays Sasha in the all-new action movie Hard Kill, which also stars Bruce Willis, Jesse Metcalf, and Sergio Rizzuto. We're going to talk to Natalie in just a second, but first, let's check out that trailer. Hi, Natalie. Thanks so much for joining me. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Um, so I did an introduction offline so we could just start talking. I know you have limited time. Uh, so, you know, thank you so much. Uh, you know, I guess the first question, you probably have heard this a lot, but, uh, you know, I guess what drew you to this role specifically in this movie? Um, you know what? I would have to say, um, you know, I come from a military family. My, my father, Marine, a uh, Vietnam veteran, and my brother-in-law currently is serving overseas for the Army. So, you know, I have so much love uh admiration for our armed services so uh i think that's initially what what drew me in and the fact that uh sasha was just a um a character that i wanted to dive into kind of made everything fall into place awesome yeah i saw that on your profile that you're, you do a lot of, of uh, volunteer work for the military and it must be your military background so thank you for that um I, does does your did your history with the military at least you know with, with it in the family did that kind of help you get in the mindset for this character and and is that something that you know you you really kind of looked for in this one? Absolutely, um, you know i I took it a little step further and and wanted to um, you know do as much preparation as I could so when I got to set that you know I was I was fully confident and I was lucky enough to do my weapon training with um, ex-Delta Force guy. Uh, shout out to James Fleming, who, um, you know, showed me, um, He, I mean, he's a real deal. So uh, he helped prep me and train me, and my husband actually enjoyed it as well, uh, do weapon training with him so uh, I could bring them, you know, make them proud because um, without them, you know, I wouldn't be able to, do this interview or even be in a, a movie. So I wanted to do whatever I possibly could and uh, make them proud of the character that I was portraying. You mentioned that he's the real deal. I mean, I, th I think he did a great job because you, you definitely come off as, as a badass in this movie. So that's a, a testament to his work and your work as well. <laughs> oh, awesome. Thank you. That's good. That's a good sign. Yeah, no, that was, uh, yeah, I, I really, you know, I love it. You know, it seems like there's a trend in, in a lot of action movies that you always, you know, you're starting to get more strong female characters. And it's always great to see just because, you know, there's, you know, there's no reason why you or any other strong female character couldn't be in that firefight and, and helping out. So it's, it's just really good to see that uh, trend happening. For sure. Um, and that's why I love this character too, is just because she was so, um, you know, she, she holds her ground and, and she is a badass and you don't really want to mess with her because she'll bring it. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he said that he kind of helped you out with some of the, I assume some of the gunfire and I guess soldier aspects of the film. Um, you know, I, I, you, you have such a good experience in hand-to-hand -hand combat and, and martial arts was, was kind of playing more of a, you know, soldier or something that, you know, that you wanted to fill out your repertoire? Was there any, any ever any discussion that you would maybe do more kind of hand-to-hand -hand combat in this? Um, you know, yeah, it was one of those things where I have now just kind of grown where I'm like, oh, I love this. I loved the weapon training that I, that I have just begun learning and, um, you know, taking it into this film with the, with the scenes that, I had to do doing that, you know, I wanted to now do more. Um, I love the John Wick films um, and kind of elaborating on that would be fantastic. And, um, you know, that would be the ultimate uh, kind of bucket list role for sure. That would be a, that would be a great match. I'd love to see you face off against Keanu. Oh, uh, that would be that would be that would be, that would be crazy. I kind of want to be on Keanu's team, though. Everyone that faces him dies. That's true. <laughs> uh, I, I heard an interview one time where they said that you know in Hollywood there's only a few actors that just you don't you don't have to worry about any of their martial arts training. Keanu is one of them. I imagine you're also probably one of them too. I, you know, you probably come perfectly prepared. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. 
Um, and so going on the, you know, you, you want to be on this team. I know this, you know, I, I apologize. I didn't, I, I didn't watch you when you were wrestling, although, you know, it looks you, you were fantastic uh, from what I read, <laughs> but you played more of a heel uh, during your wrestling career. And in this film, you're, you're, you know, one of the team members, you're one of the you know, good guys, I guess, although the lines are kind of blurred in this movie. Um, you know, was that something that was important to you? Was that something maybe that was influenced by your kind of, you know, military family, or is it just you know, just like the role, and that's kind of what you what what spoke to you? Um, yeah, you know, it, it's a very different. You know, WWE one hundred percent is one of those things that I am so happy that I started there because it truly prepares you for any other endeavor um, in life or in TV and film because those guys are studs. They're on the road two hundred and ninety days out of the year. Um, you're growing and expanding your character, but on top of that, you are performing in front of a live audience, so you have to be ready at all times, plus handle all the physicality that is required of you once you step inside that uh, squared circle. So, um, I, and plus, I played a bad guy. So, the two are completely different in the sense of uh, character-wise, and this is playing Sasha is a lot more um, you know, well, like you said, the lines are a little bit blurred. However, you know, to the core, I feel you know they are they are more so the good guys, and 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 playing that really is fun because you get to, and that's why I feel like acting is so awesome is because you're constantly either building layers, pulling layers, um, and creating different characters in in each project. Yeah, definitely. This is definitely a movie, a movie with layers. Um, so uh, I guess what uh, was it like, you know, th this, this movie has a great team aspect, which I loved, you know, I, I like seeing the interaction, especially in the bar scene at the start. Um, did uh -huh. you all have to do anything specific to uh, kind of get that camaraderie going? Were there any sort of like team building events or did you just all kind of like hit it off because you all have maybe similar backgrounds? You know, what's so interesting is that we all just hit it off right away, which is, we're really lucky because sometimes it doesn't work that way. Um, but we all just had, it was it was a blast working with everybody. And I feel like um, it just kind of showed that camaraderie, that, that, that bond, that love for one another um, that these guys have. And it just was an ease. And I, I don't know if it's probably just because all, all of our personalities uh, off screen, you know, worked well together. And so um, it just added to our characters, which thank goodness it did, because um, you definitely need that, uh, that team element, especially with this type of film. Yeah, definitely. That that uh, you know that, that bar scene really kind of draws you in and kind of lets you see all the different personalities interact, and that's a it's a really fun way to start. So you're exactly right that that's kind of the way to get everyone hooked. Um, For sure. You mentioned something earlier that I found interesting. You know, you're talking about how WWE you're always live and you kind of always have to be on. Um, you know, I imagine that just means you kind of have to roll with the punches if something goes wrong. Were there were there scenes where you know something might have not hit exactly right and you just kept going because you didn't you know you don't want to stop and everyone else is kind of like look you know they're maybe used to traditional acting where everyone says cut or was, was there something like that happening? For sure, um, and I think that's what's kind of unique and, and cool little kind of tool that I have in my toolkit is that um, it doesn't really matter what's going on it is just kind of a, a learned thing like you, no matter what you keep con you continue on you keep going um because nobody really knows except you and whoever else you are in that specific um scene with so transitioning that to tv and film it's totally opposite if it doesn't go right or if it's not how it's supposed to be cut done and then you start from the top so um that was something to kind of get used to and it was cool because it's you get to take as many times as the director wants to do it or until you feel that you you guys got it but in wwe it's now it's, it's one and done mm -hmm. um you don't have that the second chance which i think is really good because you kind of learn to always bring it on any take yeah 
That's that's a really good point. And you hear so many times about how in movies, you know, you'll have something that quote unquote goes wrong, but then it creates this really cool new scene that no one thought about. So, you know, maybe the maybe the WWE way is the way to do some of these action movies. Maybe you'll get some really cool sequences. For sure. For sure. Uh, so, you know, you are obviously the, the main star of the film, but Bruce Willis was, was a big draw. <laughs> uh, what was it like to work with him? Is that something that you'd ever thought you would be doing, uh, you know, maybe five years ago when you kind of started moving into more film and TV? Honestly, no. That's why I'm like, wow, I had to hold it together while I was on set because, you know, <laughs> it's Bruce Willis. Like anybody, any age, you know who Bruce Willis is. Plus, on top of that, you know Bruce Willis as an action star. Like he is Mr. Action Movie. Um, and Die Hard is definitely one of my favorite movies. I had to play it cool and not have him repeat some of his famous lines. Um <laughs> But, you know, I held it together on set and, and, you know, pulled it together and was super professional. So, um, I mean, even now today, uh, we had the premiere last night in Hollywood, but um, it's still kind of one of those whoa moments of being in a Bruce Willis film. Um, definitely a bucket list. Super cool. And the fact that uh, my whole family got to watch the movie together last night was, was definitely a special moment, too. That's awesome. That's really awesome. I assume Bruce Willis is as cool in real life as he is on screen, right? That's just that's just how he is. For sure, I was definitely <laughs> not disappointed. He was super cool, um, and it was an experience. That's for sure. So uh, I noticed in the movie that you, your hair was purple. I know that your hair kind of goes through some various colors. <laughs> you can't see it, but purple is my favorite color. The, the wall behind me is purple. So uh, no way. Yeah, I, I, it, it's definitely my favorite color. So was there any any reason behind that? Was it or just is it something that you kind of wanted to try out for this character? Yeah, you know, I've always been fascinated with hair color since I was a kid, and then you know, being in the WWE, I went just this kind of fire red color hair and for my first film um i ended up dyeing it black mm -hmm. for more of a you know for that for that character and then i had ended up dyeing my hair purple maybe two years later and when i got this script um and got the job it was one of those things where it came down to you know director and producer saying um that I could actually keep my purple hair if I thought, you know, it would work for my character. And for me, uh, it was one of those things where the purple wasn't like a, a distract, like if it was red or if it was mm -hmm. even pink right now, it would be distracting where uh, your immediate response would go just straight to your, you know, my hair color. And I felt like for Sasha, it just kind of gave her a, a little bit of a different edge um, and it wasn't distracting and, uh, they let me run with it and i'm glad they did yeah no i agree it's uh you know it, it kind of shows her as rebellious but also mm -hmm. you're, you're right it, it wasn't something that tactically would have uh you know hurt the team and it does kind of help right. stand out so totally sorry to interrupt you about two minutes remaining okay awesome uh so i'm gonna ask a couple really quick questions um okay. this, i call it the lightning round it's just you know things i noticed in the movie and i want to see if they have any any parallels in your own life um so in the movie oh. your your brother is a very important character do, do you also have a brother in real life i do i'm the youngest of all boys i have <laughs> three so it was uh definitely you know i felt right at, i felt super comfortable with with my crew Awesome. And also feel free to answer as much or as little as you want uh, of this. You know, you can choose not to answer okay. if uh, you don't want to. Um, so before this film, had you ever fired a gun? Yes. Okay. Uh, have you ever played in an abandoned building? Because a lot of this movie takes place in an abandoned warehouse. Um, have I ever played in one? Yeah. Like maybe as a kid, you know, hanging out in a building you know or something like that. Yeah, I was going to say probably not for a many, 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 many years, <laughs> but um, as a kid, uh, definitely maybe, you know, playing around, poking around in, in some abandoned buildings definitely happened. As, as did we all. Um, <laughs> you, uh, hacking is kind of involved in this. Have you ever hacked a computer? You can interpret that as much or as little as you want. Have you ever hacked a computer? I wish that I had the skills <laughs> to do that. I'm very lucky if I can send out a tweet and do an Instagram post. So if I had that in me, I, I'd be very happy. From what I can gather, you're very good at, at the tweet and Instagram. Your, your accounts are perfect. <laughs> um, 
and your character in the bar, I think I think she ordered like a like a seltzer or something like that. What, what is your go to drink? Um, my go-to drink is exactly that. Uh, usually Pellegrino, any sparkling water. I don't drink, so uh, that that's the go-to. That is that is amazing. I I wish I had that kind of willpower. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much. What's uh What's next for you? What can people look forward to seeing you in next? Um, you know, I have a TV series coming out called Paradise City. I play opposite of Bella Thorne, uh, Drea De Mateo, and a ton of sons of anarchy guys disney star uh kids are in it as well um plus actual real musicians i'm really excited for everyone to see that project because it's a complete series already locked done um but because of everything going on right now the the drop date is um still kind of up in the air but it's a entirely different character that anyone has seen me play thus far so i'm really excited about that project but still with the purple hair right so it is yes it is <laughs> awesome well that sounds fantastic i can't wait to check it out awesome all right thank you so much for joining me absolutely thank you so much take care you too Bye. that was natalie eva murray who plays sasha in the all-new movie hard kill which is available on demand and in digital formats if you like this interview please feel free to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and it helps the channel make sure that these videos go straight to you and that you get updates about anything new that we post. And as always, please go to watcherpass.com for all your movie reviews, interviews, and recommendations. Thank you.